Tonight with new details on an ice rink investigation. Cranston police are still trying to determine whether vandals are responsible for damage to the inflatable dome that houses one of the city's ice rinks. And tonight there's still no telling how long it could be before the dome is repaired and the rink reopened. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau has been following the story since it first broke yesterday and he joins us live now with the latest developments. The bubble went up in part in the summer of 07 to help solve the overcrowded rink problem here in Cranston. Well, now that problem problem is back as everyone waits for them to reinflate the bubble. The bottom line is that ring time in Cranston will be cut in half until this 30 yard long gash in the bubble can be assessed and potentially repaired. Police took pictures of the five obscene words scribbled above one side of the long slice and Mayor Fung says vandalism is not ruled out. Certainly that does present a concern but we don't know exactly when that might have been uh, put on there as well. And that's why I'm glad that the police were there. They took photos. They're going to conduct their own look at it. A New York City company that installs and repairs this type of material is expected Wednesday. To give Cranston an idea if the damage can be repaired, how much it will cost, and how long it will take. The mayor tells us that company may also have an idea whether the hole started with a cut by a vandal or if it's wear and tear. In the meantime, rink management and dozens of local teams from Cranston and beyond are making plans to skate somewhere else. Ice time is very hard to come by everywhere in the state. Um, like I said, the girls team, we practice here three days a week. You know, we play our games in the main rink, but they also accommodate the boys' east team and the west uh, boys' team, too. Are you optimistic that it is repairable? You know, at this point, we just it's too early to tell. Um, you know, I'm certainly hopeful that it's repairable. And no one right now is even willing to take a guess as to how much it might cost to repair the bubble. Live with the West Bay Bumble Newsroom in Cranston, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.